Hey everybody, new car prices are insane. Probably not news to you, but we have seen unprecedented prices for new vehicles in general, including dealers charging well over MSRP. But it can be hard to quantify that until today because in this video we are talking about the top 15 new cars priced the highest over MSRP. And this is brought to us by our friends over at IC Cars. Now they ran a study of 1.2 million new car listings and found the average new vehicle price is raised 9.9% above MSRP. But that's on average. In this video, we're gonna point out the top 15 new cars they found of that 1.2 million that on average were priced well above 9.9% above MSRP, in some cases up to 26.7% over MSRP. And the number one vehicle, well, it's probably not what you think. It's actually quite a bit surprising to me. Now let's kind of talk about the list. So they looked at 1.2 million new car listings, they looked at what dealers were charging over MSRP, they averaged it out, we're going to be talking about two different specifics for each car model, the percentage above MSRP and the dollar amount above MSRP. And of course that dollar amount is going to change a little bit because some vehicles are more expensive, others are more affordable. But let's go in with number 15. Now, like I said, the overall average across the industry, 9.9% above MSRP, but this vehicle, the Mercedes-Benz GLA, coming in at 18.6% above MSRP, and that equates to about $7,142. Now, the Mercedes GLA is an extremely popular vehicle in the Mercedes-Benz lineup. It is the small, relatively affordable SUV that they produce, but with over a $7,000 price hike on average, over MSRP, well, it certainly becomes quite a bit less affordable. Now the next vehicle on the list, number 14, the Lexus RX 350L, coming in at 18.6% over MSRP, just like the Mercedes. That's actually gonna equate to a higher dollar amount above MSRP, because it's a slightly more expensive vehicle, $9,242. Now, of course, both the Mercedes and the Lexus are extremely popular models for each respective manufacturer, um, but it appears that dealers are really taking advantage of that fact by adding big markups over MSRP. Now, coming in at number 13, once again, the most popular vehicle in this company's lineup, the Mini Countryman, 18.9% above MSRP on average, that equates to six thousand three hundred and twenty five dollars now the mini countryman well it outsells every other mini by a large margin small crossovers are hot that is clear many of you know that and that's why we are seeing big percentages above msrp the number 12 on the list maybe a little bit surprising arguably the best selling sports car of all time the ford mustang 19.1% above MSRP or $6,941. Now the Mustang in this study is just lumped as one model. We don't see the breakout. So it could be that like the, uh, the, the Shelby models are really skewing these numbers. It could be that the special editions are skewing these numbers, but in general, it certainly is a vehicle which is being priced out of a lot of people's um, price brackets. And of course, for a long time, you get a Mustang for well under MSRP, but in today's market, you're probably gonna be paying over. Now, number 11. This one, not really a surprise, but I am a little bit surprised it's so far down on the list, and that is the Chevrolet Corvette. C8 Corvette has been around actually now for a couple of years, but it is still largely unattainium with a 19.3% above um, MSRP average. That is a $15,218 markup above MSRP on average. Of course, the Corvette is, well, it's incredible. The first ever mid-engine Corvette, and there's still a huge amount of excitement around it. And it's actually the highest dollar amount above MSRP on the list because it is the most expensive vehicle on the list. Um, but yeah, whew, crazy. 19.3% over MSRP, but weirdly, that number isn't as high as the next, which is the Mercedes-Benz GLB. That's right, coming in at number 10 with a 19.8% above MSRP value, we've got the small boxy Mercedes crossover. Lovely little vehicle. One of my favorite Mercedes SUVs, probably of all time, it's fantastic. But 
On average, folks are paying $7,992 above MSRP, which is a pretty big deal. Coming in at number nine, the Genesis GV70. Once again, one of the most spectacular SUVs. The Genesis builds probably one of the best in class. That's got a 20% above MSRP markup on average. That equates to $8,611. Um, it's hard to get pretty much every one of these cars on the list. Just in general, it's hard to do. Um, GV70s, I'm starting to see them out and around, uh, but it's on the list just below number eight, which is the Ford Bronco. Ford Bronco, of course, um, the, the large off-road SUV that's been awaited for years and years and years. It came out, debuted um, in what, 20, 2020? And then the first ones started, started hitting people's hands in 2021, and now we're into 2022. Still a hard vehicle to get. We still see enormous markups on Broncos. Uh, the above MSRP uh, percentage average, 20.6%, that equates to $7,783. But weirdly, we're only number eight on the list because number seven, kind of a surprising one, the Lexus RX 450H. Now we talked about the RX 350L a little bit lower on this list, but the 450H, 21% above MSRP. That equates to $10,000, $10,365 for Lexus's most popular model, the RX. Truly crazy, lovely car, fantastic to drive now that fuel's getting expensive. It makes a lot of sense to go with the Lexus Hybrid, but you're gonna have to pay for it. Number six is a bit of a shame. Number six is the Ford Maverick, coming in at 22.2% .2 above MSRP, or $5,368. Now the reason that this is such a shame is because the big attraction to the Maverick was it was an affordable people's truck that was easily attainable for a lot of folks. But when you're paying, um, in this case, an average 20 2.2% above MSRP, it stops becoming affordable. And then of course, used trucks seem a lot more attractive um, when you're paying a $5,000 over MSRP price. Number five on the list, another truck, the Jeep Gladiator coming in at 22.5% or 9,824. And number four on the list, the Jeep Wrangler Unlimited, the four door coming in at 22.9% above MSRP, 9,534. Now the reason that this is so surprising is that we're seeing in this study, a higher percentage above MSRP for the Wrangler Unlimited and the, uh, the Gladiator than the Ford Bronco. Really crazy stuff. Now, of course, this generation of Wrangler, uh, the JL has been around since 2018, so it's four years old now. I think that's right. And uh, wow, that means still the fact that we're seeing well over MSRP and well over um, the average above percentage MSRP compared to Bronco, very surprising. Now number three, the Porsche Macan, 23.3% or $13,254 above MSRP. Macan is uh, one of the more affordable Porsches in the lineup. Uh, it's of course the small SUV, but once again, not very affordable relative to other Porsches when you factor in the above MSRP dollar amount. And then we get to number two, the Ford Maverick, but this time the hybrid, 25% above MSRP, the perfect storm. We've got the, the most affordable pickup in the land, the Maverick Hybrid. Uh, we've got high gas prices, we've got huge demand, um, relatively low supply still, and that brings us to an above average MSRP of $5,601, which doesn't seem as high as some of the other vehicles, but keep in mind, this is such an affordable vehicle to begin with, that's a 25% markup above MSRP. And the number one, what do you think the number one vehicle is? Nope, it's not what you're thinking. It's actually the Jeep Wrangler. That's right, so we talked about the Wrangler Unlimited, but the number one highest over MSRP vehicle, according to IC Cars, is the two-door Jeep Wrangler, coming in at 26.7% above MSRP, or $8,925. Um, really bad time to buy a Wrangler. That's higher than the, uh, than the Bronco, higher than the Gladiator, higher than the, um, than the Corvette, which is crazy, uh, but, it could be a supply thing. Perhaps we're not seeing as many two-door Wranglers being built as four-door Wranglers, and that's people that want them. Well, they might be paying a lot. Now let me know what you think in the comments section below. As always, this has been Tommy. Check out tflcar.com for all the latest and greatest in new vehicle uh, survey write-ups and everything else.